Hello Cancer, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing wonderful and amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Cancer, this is a safe channel, a safe place for everyone. Of course, everybody is welcomed, but your time is very important. It's very valuable, so I'm going to jump straight in. I'm going to clear the deck first. And in light of October, we are going towards uh, Halloween. I will be using the Haunted House Tarot. And then I'll be clarifying here with the classic Halloween Tarot deck. If you do wish to have your uh, your own, you know, purchase your own deck, I know that on Amazon there uh, there is a plethora. You can, you can definitely grab your own um, deck there as well. They're, they are readily available uh, on Amazon worldwide. So... Cancer, I want to focus on the love energies for October 2022. Bear in mind some of these messages or these energies, they can seep a little bit into November. But of course, primarily, I will be focusing on October. And as I always say, what is you know the heads up that you should be aware of? Any insight, any clarity? Is there anyone coming towards you? Or perhaps Cancer, you just want to be on your own? Um, that's fair enough. We don't all have to be in a relationship. So let's see. One more for my lovely Cancerians, please. Here we go. All right. We've got a highlighted message right there. There we go. Two more. Last one. All right. Here we go. All right, the highlighted message. What do we have that can carry the rest on for the reading is the beautiful, the Four of Pentacles that is ruled there by uh, Capricorn. So what does it mean? It seems here, uh, Cancer, that we are kind of keeping our cards or metaphorically, we're keeping our heart very close to our chest. We're kind of not in the mood to reveal all our plans, like our true thoughts, our true feelings, our next move. I think that's actually pretty smart <laughs> cancer I, mean, I think it's pretty wise to be honest because not everybody has to know everything that you know is going on in our life because unfortunately not everybody will be clapping for you right um now it seems here cancer if i had to ask you are you holding on to something in regards to someone even if you're on a break or if you're not talking to this particular person do you find yourself perhaps still holding on to them or holding on to the past if you're going to say no this is definitely perhaps someone that is holding on to you and they're still holding on to the past, even though they're probably not talking to you and they're keeping their cards very close to their chest though. But bear in mind that the four represents planning. So perhaps there is someone around your energy though and they're probably planning something. Uh, well, <laughs> what are they planning? Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. Happily ever after with you. Now, I have to point out that the Ten of Cups is a very strong omen, a very strong sign, sorry, of uh, reconciliation. Now, that word reconciliation, as I always preach, means many different things. It could be just to be friends, to patch things up, the chance for forgiveness, clarity, or even just to come back together romantic, you know, romantically. And so this does point that there could be children, it could be a blended family here as well. It's domestic bliss and the happily beautiful ever after. And the tens do represent the end of a cycle. So perhaps something, you know, a tough cycle is about to end. But we do have someone that cannot let you go. But they're holding back. What's going on with this person? Guilty conscience, I suppose. The eight of swords. That is Gemini energy. Note that none of the swords is actually touching this person. It's a bit of self-imposed imprisonment. Imprisonment of thoughts and believing the worst case scenario, you know believing the ego which is 100 percent not psychic no not intuitive at all i'm seeing that someone is actually holding back for now and not too long though because this represents weeks as well i'm holding on because they could be afraid they could be quite nervous of approaching you here afraid of rejection even though they're still holding on to you for dear life um someone's only holding back because they're probably a little bit afraid of approaching you but they want this god for almighty they want this to succeed with that six of wands this is about personal victory here. Mm. Oh my Lord. Cancer. Look what you've got. The Two of Cups. That's your energy. Cancer. And you could be dealing with a fellow Cancerian. It could be even somewhere very strong in their chart. 
this is like the ideal match as we can see it's like the perfect couple it's like don't give up on those you love this person is not giving up on you and cancer maybe there is a percentage of you even if it's small that is not giving up on this person i've got to say it this person loves you wow Queen of Wands, they're going to take action. Male or female does not matter. They're going to get out of this. They're going to get it out of their head. They're going to be taking action towards you. It's fantastic. I like this. And I really, really like that Two of Cups because it's such a romantic card. It's beautiful. Let's go to your first line. Let's do this. All right, so I know this is not a really good image. In fact, I kind of wish the Haunted House... Um, tarot did a different design but it is what it is um don't be afraid <laughs> i'm not a fan of this card um this is the ace of swords it's such a nice card i mean yeah i get it it's you know it's for halloween but um the ace of swords so why is this person coming back they're coming back to give you some form of clarity this is a breakthrough but more importantly cancer it is a mental breakthrough it is cutting away finally all that i'm not good enough why did my person leave me or any past pain and disappointment they're coming back to give you some clarity. They're coming back to give you some answers, in other words, and to start again. It's pretty clear. It's really evident that someone cannot let you go. They refuse to let you go. And they want now a brand new start, not repeat any of those mistakes that perhaps they have done in the past. That led to this separation. More, please. Yep. The King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Someone's going to be offering you their cup of love. This person, I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to say this in a different word, but this person loves you. They adore you. They may have not been the best to fully express it, or maybe they expressed it in a very wrong way in the past. This is definitely a family person. They're coming back very emotionally you know, grounded, more mature, more intuitive, more patient. Wow. Wow. Okay. More, please. Look what you got. The Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. Blast from the past. You may have heard other readers say that. And this is the truth. This is someone that you know. Yeah. Could even be childhood friends. May have started as friends. They may even come back and disguise this as, let's start off as friends. But listen, I'll give them that white lie because ultimately they want the Two of Cups with you. Someone's feeling super nostalgic. You may catch yourself also thinking about this person. You know, the first time you met, first time you held hands or, you know, you just started to feel those beautiful romantic feelings, those butterflies in your stomach. This person is coming back. They want reconciliation. It's pretty obvious. Let's get to the second line. Wow. It's getting hot and heavy here. Look at this. We've got the lovers, Gemini energy, and even if, if, for those of you that were in a third party situation, um, they're leaving them out in the cold, as we can see right there. Beautiful. I like where this is going. And of course, the more cups I see, the more emotions, the more love there is. This person definitely wants reconciliation. There's a lot of love. There's a, equal amounts of love, lust, you know, of the emotions of the physical side here. I think they're going to get straight to the point. They choose you. Mm. I just heard this time, this time they mean business. Like, in other words, this time they're coming back and they're serious. <laughs> now, let's get to the beating heart of your reading. Ooh, you got the strength card. Major, they're for Leo. Wow. This does speak of unconditional love. It also tells you that perhaps if you want to listen to what your spirit team is saying for the collective watching this to approach this situation rather softly as i always say approach it with honey instead of vinegar you see this person has been holding back but it's been taking their almighty strength why they may have issues here with their self-confidence their self-esteem believing they're not good enough for you which makes sense why they've been holding back here believing in worst case scenario i'm not good enough you know i can never match you know the beautiful cancerian energy this is the strength to overcome the past, the strength to start fresh with you. More, please. Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Definitely Cancer. Expect some beautiful, loving messages that are backed by love, fueled by emotions. If you are due an apology, sorry what I did. I'm sorry I took so long. Um, you're going to get it, and it's quite genuine. In fact, if we kind of look at this, you have not got not one Yet, you haven't gotten any challenging cards. Sweet, beautiful messages here. Look at that. Ooh, expect a text message or a phone call soon. Let's get to the last line. 
We have the page of wands. So your person is trying to find very creative ways to reach you, to impress you here. I feel, yeah, they're building up their courage here. That's what's happening. I'm wondering, are you in contact with this person? Um, only because they may be trying to, it's probably a little bit difficult to reach you. They're trying to find ways to reach out to you or maybe they lost your contact, maybe they were blocked here, but there's so much they want to express. You know, they want to communicate their feelings here, but they're just trying to build up their courage. More, please. Seven of Wands. You're apprehensive about this, aren't you? There is a part of you that is. We've got a woman there, as you can see, she's like, I'll listen to you, but for the life of you, do not get too close to me. Seven of Wands, that is uh, Leo energy. What I actually really like is I see your person doing something they have not done before, is that they're going to be quite assertive and they're going to actually fight for this. So if your person never fought for this, if they were quick to run away or ghost you, that's not gonna happen now. So I'm wondering what has happened to your person during this period of separation? Um, because they've really kind of, they've really grown up here. They're more in control of their emotions. Yes, they're afraid, but um, this is someone that's going to stand their ground and fight for what they believe in. And I think they're also acknowledging that this connection, this beautiful connection, it needs stronger boundaries that not everybody has to, you know, um, know what's going on in this connection. More, please. Oh, you got my favorite knight, the knight of pentacles, very strong Virgo energy, uh, but could also possibly be a Taurus or a Capricorn. They're coming towards you, but realizing here that they need to move. We'll take this very slow. Um, they're coming back, believe it or not, as very um, loyal, grounded, practical, and they want to offer you something that is promising now with their actions, not just words, though. So this is actually looking quite... This is looking amazing. I, um, I'm actually quite surprised, <laughs> to be honest. I want to clarify these cards. Mm, this is looking good. This, I'm, I'm actually liking this. Let's see. I see that you're just a little bit apprehensive. It's like, oh, why are you back now? Um, and if your person did leave, for example, if they abruptly ended this, it's like, well, I want to know first before I say yes. You've got every right to. Last one. All right, Cancer, okay, so here we go. Oh, that goes at the bottom. Let's do this right. Beautiful. I love sixes. We've got the six of cups. The six of bats here is the six of swords, Aquarius energy. So even if your person is at a long distance or not, they may want to meet you in the middle. And this is about moving into calmer waters. It's moving forward. You know, it's leaving the five of swords behind, which can be quite chaotic and full of conflict here. Beautiful. Ah, look at this. We got the Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. So this is a question. I wonder, Cancer, did you leave this person or did they walk away from you? Either way, I'm seeing here that your person is taking big actions here, big bold steps. They're actually moving away from any type of chaos, any conflict that may sabotage this connection. And they may be receiving here a lot of, you could say a lot of hate, a lot of... Um, challenging opposing forces around them but i'm seeing here is that yeah your person's walking away from the eight they're going towards the nine of cups which is you more please yep the emperor aries energy the divine masculine all the kings wrapped up into one so they will be taking action towards you big bold actions a divine masculine here there yeah, they may have children here could be a father figure as well could be in a leadership position what are they going to do yeah, you got it again. Ace of Swords. You got it twice now. They're coming back to give you some answers, to offer you clarity. More importantly, though, to first talk about what happened in the past and now move forward together. Both of you leaving behind the past, moving forward together. Look what we have, the Death card. Something's ended in your person's life here as well. That's a major there for Scorpio. And I actually love seeing the death card in a, in, you know, a tarot spread because it shows now that the past is done finito. We're not going to repeat any type of painful lesson or cycle again because death is about rebirth. It's about that transformation, the 2.0 version of seeing this person on the other side. Your person has really grown. There's something that has changed within your person. That's good. I like that. Ooh. All right. Now let's get to the Ace of Swords. We have the King of Cups. Again, look at that side by side. The King of Cups. Yeah, oh, there it is. I was trying to find the cup and there it is. They're coming back to offer you that cup of love. Double, <laughs> double King of Cups energy. Beautiful. Let's clarify that King of Cups. 
the two of swords they don't know how to approach you libra energy they you know it's weird because they want to kind of like do the like the right thing <laughs> i feel if anything this person is ruled by their feelings they're ruled by their emotions here but they it's almost like they want to come in a bit cool calm and collected i feel like they just don't know how what to say to you how to approach you they'll figure it out absolutely i'm seeing it they're going to be very slowly towards you though it's almost like perhaps i don't want to trigger you or rub you the wrong way we're seeing reconciliation let's talk more about that Ooh, beautiful it's meant to be we've got the wheel of fortune and you may be dealing here with some certain signs we have Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. Of course, it could be anyone here, any one star sign. This is, again, the card of fate, destiny, just like the death card here as well. There is a reason why your person's coming back. It is pretty apparent. It's pretty clear, Cancer, that there is unfinished business. And once that wheel starts turning, it's all about forward movement, and it gets faster and faster and faster. Mm -hmm. I like their intentions of why they're coming back. Um, clearly this person cannot get enough of you there is a lot of love here you're pretty much the only thing they're thinking about and this time it's like how can I prove to cancer that I'm willing to fight for this to right all the wrongs that happened in the past let's talk about the lovers the chariot there you are cancer energy the fastest moving energy in the entire deck what do they want they want forward movement with you. The chariot comes with an enormous amount of victory here. That despite all odds, you make it work. Wow. I like this. Beautiful. I like this is directly going to be impacting you. Someone's going to be offering you the cup of love. And they're going to try and find creative ways here to reach out to you. This is beautiful. Let's talk about the uh, strength card, please. Justice. Libra energy. I love that justice look at this we've got a lot of major arcanas so what does that mean things are going to happen a lot more sooner rather than later and we've got some pretty powerful changes positive changes that will um, happen for you mm -hmm. for some of you the issue of or maybe some talks here could also be of separation of divorce um, as well the justice card it means yes it also um, does come with as I said apologies righting all the wrongs making up for lost time but it's pretty apparent that they want forward movement with you balance the scales here let's talk here about that page of cups we've got beautiful messages yep they're waiting for the right moment three of wands that's aries energy here obviously it's almost like they're waiting also for you you know there could be a period of time when they reach out and you may have to think about it here or you know you want to chew on what they say kind of digest their beautiful messages here it's going to be quite a lot here i can see um but yeah they're just waiting for the right moment in fact having the three of wands is a really really good sign and in fact having the world of the three of wands is considered very lucky where things just suddenly go your way yeah they know what they need to do they're waiting for the right moment i have a feeling they may have some issues here with their confidence or their self-esteem um, or their ego is saying, oh, no, you're not good enough for cancer. But they're just kind of waiting for the right moment. But they will. I like this because they're waiting metaphorically for you, you know, the ship to come in to feel, OK, now is the right time. I will approach cancer now. And here we go. That's that message. Let's talk more about it, about what happened. We got the three of swords, Libra energy. That's the message. No wonder they're trying to find, you know, the right way, the right angle um, to approach you. No wonder they don't know what to say to you because clearly they broke your heart. Unfortunately, they did a good job of doing that. Mm -hmm. Now they want to right all the wrongs. I'm seeing that something very unfair, something unjust, very wrong that happened to you. And now they're trying to make it up. Now they're trying to fix this. I will say this though, Cans, I'm going to be honest because this is your reading. They are coming back with good intentions. If they were coming back with less than desirable intentions, and I clearly saw that when I did Pisces reading, um, I would be honest with you because I win nothing by lying. Um, and that would be cruel to say, oh, it's all beautiful and all that. Yes, we're acknowledging that they broke your heart, but they're trying to fix this though. Um, so there definitely could have been a third party, literally infidelity, or perhaps there was a meddling family member, co-worker, friend, even adult children or teenage, whatever it was here. Could even be an ex, someone they were separated from. They were still preventing both of you of coming together. And I feel that your person has kind of built up a lot more character now um, where they're saying, no, I'm going to fight for this. If cancer will give me just the chance, one more chance. Let's add more. The seven of swords. Yeah, because yeah, look at that. Seven of swords, Aquarius energy. They know that you do not trust them. You don't trust the situation. Any trust that you had has been wiped clean. So no wonder they're going to have to fight for this. 
Mm. Let's clarify now. The Knight of Pentacles. More please. Four of Wands. Aries energy. They want reconciliation because you feel like home. The thing is, you know, you may be questioning is a little bit little too late though. More. Ten of Wands. Sagittarius energy. The stress that you're going to say no to them, which you have every right to because from what I've seen here, they put you in a situation that was very unfair. You know, the Seven of Swords here is all about lying, cheating, stealing, being strategic, doing things behind your back. So no wonder your person is going to have to fight for this. Hmm, interesting. One more, please. <laughs> Look at that. I took two. We have the Six of Cups again, and we have the Knight of Cups again. The same cards here. So sometimes I take more than one card out for the outcome because it's never going to be a straight line. Um, it's going to branch out because, you know, your emotions and the situation can be quite complex. So either way, we still end here with reconciliation, with an apology, with romantic changes. Yes, your person's very stressed about this. No wonder, because they're going to take this very slow because they know they have to earn your trust back. And I understand from what I can see here, they, they screwed up majorly here. They really shot themselves in the foot and sabotaged this big time. But I will say this, though. I do appreciate how they, they want to earn your trust back. They're willing to do that and they want to do the right thing, though. Of course, you want nothing to do with this person. We can just ignore this. This is a heads up. Um, but if you are at least interested to hear them out, this is either way it's going to happen, um, Cancer. So... This is what I have for you for October. I thank you for joining me. I wish you the very best. The outcome is still looking amazing here. The, the, the chance for healing is big. You know, the chance for forgiveness to moving forward together of reconciling is, is pretty major. I can already see that this person absolutely loves you. Big time. <laughs> um, so I will see you in the next couple of days um, with a completely new topic. And yeah, this is what you can expect for October and a little bit in November for this year. And I uh, wish you the very, very best, Cancer. Please take care. Bye.